Let's look at the TV1 from the outside. On the front panel, you have the power button for one button operation and the touchscreen LCD display where you can choose your receiver, set the preset transmission mode, view system information, status of your modems, set latency, and more. We explain how to use the touchscreen interface in a separate video. On the left is the encoder side panel where you have a number of connections and ports. The HDMI in connection for HDMI supported cameras and devices. The SDI in connection for SDI supported cameras and devices. Two spare USB ports for connection of USB dongles and USB supported devices. Ethernet input connection. Display port out to display preview screen on a separate monitor. HDMI out to display preview screen on HDMI supported devices. DC input. Avoid blocking the vents for proper airflow. On the right side panel, you will see six SIM card slots for the embedded modems, IFB output, and two spare USB ports for connection of USB dongles and USB supported devices. Avoid blocking the vents for proper airflow. The rear panel is comprised of the internal battery. Use the spring-loaded latches on the right side panel to remove the battery SO. You can also locate the PID number when the battery is removed right here in this location. To put the battery back on, align the connectors, slide and lock the battery into place. Make sure the latches are in the locked position. To charge the internal battery, simply plug the AC adapter to the DC input and plug the other end to an electrical outlet. The battery will charge faster when the TV1 is off. Here is a quick review of what we covered in this video. You are now ready to use your TV1.